What's up you guys? It is Gabby Moore and I'm back on my YouTube channel. It is the day before New Year's Eve and I just felt like this is the perfect time to do a life update video. A lot of people have been asking me about it on my TikTok page. I know like my last like three videos ago was a life update video. This happens so often. But 2020 and 2021 were so eventful for me. Yeah, I'm gonna do a life update video right now and just kind of update you guys a little bit on what's been going on so you guys can be aware. And then 2022, I think it's gonna be a lot more planned, so it'll be a lot easier for me to um, vlog a lot of stuff and show you guys what's going on. I have a lot more, like, I can be easy in schedules. I wanna make a schedule and be kind of like, plan things out before they happen because I've been so go, 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 go. This is last minute, last minute, last minute, you know? I'm ready to start 2022 off right and I'm gonna start with this update video. So let's get into it. Last time you guys saw me was like, I think it was before my birthday. I'm not 100% sure. It might have been a little bit before my birthday. I know what the video was, but I can't place it now. But I did vlog my birthday as well, but I never posted it because the editing, like, I lost some footage. The editing was crazy. I was just, it was doing a lot. So that was in, like, May, and it's December. <laughs> that is so bad. That is so bad, guys. I'm so sorry. After that, I was kind of chilling. After my birthday in June, I was doing literally nothing. I don't know why I said that. That is such a lie. I was never doing literally nothing. In July, I went to Mexico with my family, and then I was just swimming a lot. I went back and forth. I was basically bi-coastal going back and forth from Florida to LA, so I don't know why I lied. <laughs> then come August, I had told you guys in my past videos I was moving back to LA after the summer, and I did. I moved to LA with my best friend, Jada. And we got an apartment, which I will be doing an apartment tour as soon as I get home. I have footage that I can, I'm gonna probably pop in here just so you guys can see a little bit of it, but not a good apartment tour. I wanna do a full one when we're settled, but me and Jada have been in and out of the apartment in these past like six months since we moved in. We've been so like here, there, 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 there. It was hard to like settle down and make a video for you guys, but we're definitely gonna do one. I wanna do one with her where I show you guys like our friendship and like kind of where we're at and what's going on in our lives because me and Jada like are so close I would genuinely love to show you guys our relationship because our relationship I'm so grateful for it she's literally my sister and I met her two years ago we look so similar and I feel like when you guys see you're gonna be like what but we look really similar everybody already thinks we're sisters we're literally not we met two years ago but we're close as sisters we're as close as sisters like literally her mom has a picture of me and her on her desk and my dad like um, it's just there for her. We're, we're basically sisters at this point. We take care of each other. And we're, we're, we're always there for each other. So I definitely want to post with her soon. So those two upcoming videos, or I think I'm going to make it one. I think I'm going to make it like an apartment tour slash get to know us slash like best friend tag video thing. So I moved to LA and I was filming, um, if you look at my Instagram, there's a show called uh, Girls Night with Maddie Monroe. I filmed that with Maddie in August. It was such a fun experience to film that show with her. I'm going to put clips in. Um, it was such an organic show. We got to really be ourselves and show you guys and talk about a lot of sensitive topics. And that was good for me, especially because like so much was going on. I felt like that was very easy for me to be open and like speak on it with my friends and like be lighthearted about what's going on. So I moved in, it was still crazy. I could not film when I was moving in because I was filming Maddie's show with her. So that was literally like a lot going on. That was just August. Come September, I get an offer to fly out to England, which is where I'm at right now, but it's December. This is a different trip. I flew to England for a whole entire month. And it was insane, but it was so fun. I would literally convince myself in the summer that I was traveling and I'm so happy that I got to do that a little bit and start doing that and experience it. So I came here and I also went to Paris for like two days and it was such a fun trip. So this is where, this is where it gets juicy. <laughs> so all in the summer I was basically like, I was chilling. I wasn't really like doing anything with anybody. You guys know I just went through a really hard breakup and I really just wasn't about men. <laughs> I really wasn't. I was like, no shoddy, I'm doing this for myself. I need time for myself to become myself again and I need to come back to my roots and figure out who I am, who I was, you know what I mean? I felt very, very lost. You guys have saw me literally crying in that video because I just felt like my life was falling apart. So I come to England and 
there's this guy. But not just any guy. Not just any guy at all. Um, when I was 14 years old, I literally met this guy on Minecraft. His name's, I'm just gonna say, I met Luke. His name is Luke. I met him on Minecraft when I was 14. And we dated it online until I was 16 years old. Like, but I never, ever, ever met him. Like, the whole two years. I, when I was turning 16, I had this plan to, like, basically bring him to America. And right before then, I don't know, I was a savage. I was a different person. I don't know. Um, right before that, I literally met somebody else. And I was just, I really was sick of long distance at that time, I feel like. Or, I never had experienced anything else. So, I was like, you know what, I want to live life a little bit. Like, I, and I broke up with him. Which was just so bad because he was such a good boyfriend to me. And our relationship was really, really, like, solid. Like, I did, I, he did not deserve that at all. So, yeah. I broke his heart and I continued with my life, you know. And I didn't look back. I, ne I never regretted it. I felt like it was the right decision and all of that. Um, we weren't even in contact. He had a whole other girlfriend. And obviously, I was dating Andre in that time. And we just, like, were on different pages. He actually hated me. Just... Just to put it out there, he actually hated my guts because I broke his heart. He had me literally blocked. Blocked. <laughs> so, no, if anybody wants to say, like, oh, like, he was, like, you were with him the whole time. No, that wasn't the case. I told him I was coming because I dated him for two years and we never met. Like, why wouldn't I want to meet him? You know? Also, he had broken up with his girlfriend, like, a year before. You know? I never had an intention to, like, be with him or anything, but I was like, yeah, I want to meet him. Like, what? I've known you my whole life. And, well, I, did, I knew you, but, like, I've no he knew me for a very long time, you know what I mean? We've known of each other, we knew each other. So I was like, yeah, um, yeah, I want to meet you. So I come, and he is just the sweetest man on the planet. I just don't know how to, else to explain it. I get here, and he had planned this whole, like, dinner and stuff. It was, he made it such a big deal. Literally, I'm no joke, no joke. I get to dinner with him. And he hands me his phone, and he makes an entire video, uh, like a slideshow, of everything that happened in our, in our relationship when we were 14. Like, when I was 14. So, he just can, he, like, I literally started crying. I've never had somebody do something that sweet for me in my life. Like, Luke is such a different type of person. He is so sweet and just so giving. Like, my whole family, everybody, like, can see it now. And I can see it finally because I'm not, like, I'm not a child. And I can tell that he's, like, a really special person. From then on, like, we still weren't talking. We weren't, we were talking. We weren't dating or anything. It wasn't that serious. It was just, like, us really, like, taking it, like, oh, my gosh, I'm finally meeting you. Like, this is crazy. So... Yeah, uh, the whole time I was in England, I was in here for an entire month. We didn't see each other that much, but near towards the end, because he had a job. So towards the end of the trip, we really were together kind of often because he had like a break. So he came, we hung out hella, and we just got super close. I don't think we just got super close. I feel like because we dated prior, we were basically refreshing each other of what we knew. And I can't lie, our old relationship was really serious. I feel like he know he knew already when we re-met like everything about me from when I was younger so it was like we were just rekindling what we had before and then I don't know where we got to this but I decided I was like you know what like you should come to England you should come to LA and like he really wanted to see it he's never been to America in his life and he just had the time so I was like come like it'll be so fun so after my month-long trip in England I head back to America and like literally like maybe three weeks after that he comes to LA so I get back and I'm just like chilling you know like I'm just trying to focus on myself I was still oh my gosh I can't even explain it I was so hesitant I was like no I need to focus on myself I've been doing too much like pushing him away so hard and just like being I had so much anxiety because of it I was like no I don't want this right now like I felt like super trapped I felt like um, I'm moving on too fast, I need time for myself, da 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 you know what I mean? But I don't know, um, something about Luke and just our past, like, I'm not even joking, Luke knows me in and out from when I was way younger, from when, like, I was, he knows my core, almost, like, he knows me when I was in Florida, he knows me, he knows the real me, you know what I mean? 
so something about that just really drove us really close together it was like we were picking up from where we ended not like we were starting to talk again so he really just grounded me and he's also like such a sweet person as i said he really just like gives his all and makes sure that like i feel good and i'm okay and my anxiety isn't too bad and he just really cares for me so when he came like we were just on a really good like it was just a vibe i showed him all over oh, all over la i basically rediscovered la all over again we explored it together and it was so fun he stayed for like thanksgiving we did like couples giving super cute i'm gonna put clips of couples giving and that was so cute i got a chef for thanksgiving and like alicia and alexa all my close friends came over and we did a like, picnic set up on the floor in our apartment just a really good i feel like a housewarming because we never had a housewarming so that was really fun. Come December, it's my dad's 60th birthday and we were we needed a plan, we needed a, a trip. So we had planned to come to England. Like after I came, I was like, I love England. I wanna show you guys. So I convinced my whole family to come to England for the holidays, which is now, which is why I'm here right now. <laughs> I came and I decided to stay a little bit longer than they did. They left right after Christmas because now it's, I said it's the day before New Year's. So um, I came, and I decided to stay. It's been really, really fun to be here. I love it here genuinely. It's so fun for me. I feel like that's life update right there. Is that the end? <gasps> this is the end, but just not for it to really be the end. I am filming and I have been filming this whole entire trip. I filmed my whole London vlog. And when I leave, I'm definitely gonna post that. So yeah, this will be coming out. I feel like hopefully before like too far in the new year. So it makes sense, but then right after I post this, I'm going to be posting my London vlog, my London holiday vlog. So yeah, but for now, um, I hope you guys understand or, or you guys are a little bit more updated on what's been going on in my life and what kind of happened. I know a lot of you guys are seeing my TikToks and you're like, what, what do you mean? She moved on, man. Like, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for the people that have been supporting me and all of this and are happy that I'm happy. I'm happy that you guys are actually supportive of me and not doubting me for the people that are were assuming the negative or just coming for me for my decisions. Like, please just don't be negative about it. You don't really know what was going on. You don't know how I'm feeling. You don't know how your comments are affecting me or anything like that. From my past relationship to this relationship, like, you only know what I put out there. You don't know everything. So these comments won't really affect me because I know you don't know me, you don't know what's going on. Um, since you guys only see what I put out, I'm okay with it. So if you wanna have a negative opinion on something that you're just really assuming, um, you do you. I don't even wanna come off as me. Like I don't, I don't even pay attention to the negative comments. I really do appreciate and I watch the positivity coming from you guys. And I love you guys' support and I love how much you guys really are, are in my life with me going through things with me and i love hearing your opinions about it let's get to a great year guys let's have a great year subscribe so you can be a part of my 2022 journey which i literally have no idea how my 2022 is planned to go but i'm sure it's going to be a lot very eventful and very fun and stay tuned for the london vlog love you guys bye